we want to solve the given exact first order differential equation. An exact differential equation must fit one of these two forms here and the partial of m with respect to y must equal the partial of n with respect to x. Notice how the given differential equation here fits this form which tells us that m of x comma y is equal to negative two x y squared minus eight x y. And n of x comma y equals negative two x squared y minus four x squared minus five. So for our next step, let's verify these partial derivatives are equal. So now we'll find the partial of m with respect to y. So we'll differentiate m with respect to y, treating x as a constant. So the derivative of negative two x y squared with respect to y would be negative four x y. And then we'd have minus the derivative of eight x y with respect to y would be eight x. So the partial of m with respect to y is negative four x y minus eight x. Now let's find the partial of n with respect to x, which must equal negative four x y minus eight x, if this is an exact differential equation. So we'll differentiate n with respect to x, treating y as a constant. So the derivative of negative two x squared y with respect to x would be negative four x y. And then we have minus the derivative of four x squared with respect to x is eight x. And then the derivative of negative five would be zero. So notice how the partial of m with respect to y does equal the partial of n with respect to x, and therefore we do have an exact differential equation. So the solution to the exact differential equation will be f of x comma y equals c, such that the partial of f with respect to x equals m, and the partial of f with respect to y equals n. So now let's work on determining the function f of x comma y. So this first equation here tells us the partial of f with respect to x must equal m, and the partial of f with respect to y must equal n. So to recover the function f of x comma y, let's integrate m with respect to x. So f of x comma y is equal to the integral of m, which is negative two x y squared minus eight x y integrated with respect to x. But because we're integrating with respect to x, we are not going to recover the y terms of f of x comma y, so we'll have to include plus a function of y when integrating. So f of x comma y is equal to the integral of negative two x y squared with respect to x would be negative two y squared times y squared divided by two, which would give us negative x squared y squared minus the integral of eight x y with respect to x, which would be eight y times x squared divided by two. So we have minus four x squared y. And again, we're not recovering the y terms of f of x comma y, so we'll have to write plus a function of y. Let's write plus h of y. Now we also know the partial of f with respect to y must equal n, which means if we differentiate f of x comma y, which we just found, with respect to y, it must equal n of x comma y. So this must be equal to, again, the partial of f with respect to y. So we'll differentiate with respect to y, treating x as a constant. So the derivative of negative x squared y with respect to y would be negative two x squared y and then we'd have the derivative of negative four x squared y with respect to y, that'd be minus four x squared, plus the derivative of h with respect to y would be just h prime of y. Now we want to compare the terms of the partial of f with respect to y to n of x comma y. Notice how we have negative two x squared y, we also have negative four x squared, but notice here we have the term negative five, and here we have h prime of y. So this tells us h prime of y must equal negative five. So if h prime of y equals negative five, if we can find h of y, we can determine the function f of x comma y. So to find h of y, we'll integrate both sides of this equation. So we'd have the integral of h prime of y dy 
equals the integral of negative five dy. So the integral of h prime of y with respect to y would just be h of y. And the integral of negative five with respect to y would be negative five y. We would have a constant of integration, but remember our solution is in the form of f of x comma y equals c, so we'll already have a constant on the right. And now because we know h of y equals negative five y, we've recovered all of f of x comma y once we substitute negative five y for h of y. We now know f of x comma y is equal to negative x squared y squared minus four x squared y minus five y. Which means the solution to the given differential equation is negative x squared y squared minus four x squared y minus five y equals c. So we go back to our first slide. Notice how they're only asking us to enter f of x comma y, which once again is negative x squared y squared minus four x squared y minus five y. But again, the solution would be in this form here. I hope you found this helpful.